channel thank you so much for clicking on this video my name is Agi in case you're new here and if you're not yet subscribed kindly hit the subscribe button because you'd want to refer to this recipe anytime you make this amazing breakfast recipe subscribing is totally free you have nothing to lose and also if you want to refer to this recipe if you're subscribed it's gonna be very easy for you to get it so today I'm gonna share with you this amazing breakfast recipe. These are really easy to make and I really hope that you're gonna get time to share this video with your friends because during these times of Christmas, you never know who might need this beautiful recipe. And also don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to leave me a comment when you try this recipe out. I'd like to know how you tried out and they came out. I'd like to get a feedback from you guys. So let's get on with the video. So in a clean bowl, I'm going to add in two and a half cups of all-purpose flour. I'm also going to add in one tablespoon of instant dry yeast. I'll also add in a quarter cup of granulated sugar. One teaspoon of salt. 3 tablespoons of vegetable oil or cooking oil and then I'm gonna mix until everything is nicely combined after mixing I'm gonna make a well at the center of the bowl and then I'll add in one and a half cup of warm water So I'll just go ahead and just mix it with a spatula until uh, the flour is nicely combined. So at this point you can see the consistency of the flour. It's not runny and it's not like firm. So the next thing I'm going to add in is one tablespoon of cooking oil and then I'll just mix it until the oil is nicely combined into the butter. So the next step is to just cover it and let it rest for about 45 minutes. You can store it in a nice warm place. So the trick I normally use is just to warm up the oven, turn it off and then put the bowl inside with the butter and I think it will rise a little bit faster if you don't have time. But if you have time you can just leave it for around 45 minutes. So after 45 minutes you can see that the butter is well risen. So for this next step I'm gonna take a very clean tray and just you know apply some oil on it. You can just rub in some oil but make sure it's nicely covered with the cooking oil. Because if you don't do this, your dough or your butter is going to be sticking on your tray. So you want to make sure that it's nicely covered with the cooking oil. So the next step is to just use your hands to sort of remove the butter from the sides of the bowl. And if you realize that uh, it's sticking a lot on your hands, the trick is to use enough oil. You can apply enough oil on your hands. This one will prevent the butter from sticking on your hands so you can also rub about two tablespoons of cooking oil on your butter this one will also prevent the butter from being so sticky uh, on the bowl and on your hands and it will be really easy for you to scoop so I'm just gonna scoop a little bit of like a handful of the butter on my hands it's really messy so you guys are gonna excuse me and once you scoop it you just mold it with your hands and just place it on the tray which is nicely oiled with uh, vegetable oil so you'll just repeat the same process with the rest of the dough it's really messy but I know you're going to love the outcome so you're just gonna bear the messiness and just do it as long as you uh, rub some oil onto the dough it's not gonna be so sticky it's a lot messier if you don't rub the 
oil on the door or into your hands but if you rub it's really easy to scoop it's a lot easier guys So guys, I had to freeze the frame so that I can explain something real fast to you guys. For this next step, you're going to need two pans. You'll have the smaller pan at the extreme end with a little bit of oil and this other bigger one with enough oil to fr deep fry. Yeah. So you're going to mold the butter with your hands like that. Create a hole at the center of it. Yeah. And then you're just going to place it in the small pan with a little bit of oil. So after placing it on the pan with a little bit of oil, you're going to let it fry for about two minutes. So you'll just fry until it sort of puffs up. I don't know. I don't have better words to describe this, but you're just going to let it puff up like it swells a little bit. And then you're going to transfer it to the pan with a, a lot of oil. So when you transfer it to the pan with a lot of oil, you're just going to fry them until they are nice and brown on one side. And then you'll flip and fry the other side until it's golden brown. So as you're frying also, you can always pour hot oil on top of it as I was doing earlier. This will help it to puff up a lot more. So you'll just repeat the same process with the rest of the with the the rest of the butter. So you just mold it nicely with your hands, create a hole at the center, and then just repeat the same process as I'd showed you earlier. guys as you can see this one is now ready and uh, you're gonna remove it from the oil and just place it on a plate which is lined with oil absorbing paper so you'll just repeat the same process with the rest of the butter and uh, as you can see these are looking so yummy they're looking so delicious and the smell is just heavenly So guys you can see these are really delicious just by looking at them they look more like donuts but they're not donuts i don't even know what to call them it's just a recipe that i learned from a friend of mine and they are so delicious they are very nice and soft on the inside and they're so nice and crunchy on the outside by the way some people say they are donuts but they're not donuts because you can just see how amazing how delicious they look Look at the inside, it's so nice and creamy. You might think that we added some milk in it, but we didn't. I really hope that you guys are going to try out this recipe. I really dare you guys to try it. You're going to love it. So if you're not yet subscribed, kindly hit the subscribe button. You've got nothing to lose. And also by subscribing, it's going to be very easy for you to find this recipe. It's going to be very easy for you. And I have lots of really amazing recipes on my channel. So kindly try out this recipe and let me know in the comments. Also, don't forget to share this video with your friends. You never know who might need it. You can also just start a business by making these guys. So kindly hit the subscribe button. And I really hope that I'll be able to see you guys in my next video.